Even though I walk through the valley sometimes It feels like I crawl through the valley But I got a promise that I hold on tight to I can't lose when I'm right beside you Yeah. All right, so let's talk about your song, Up and Up, okay? Yeah. Um, it, it is doing uh, well on the charts, and it is such a good, inspiring song. Um, and it is a, I would call it what I call a, a summer jam. I think it's got that that perfect sound to it. So excellent job on that. But Thank I don't want to lose the important meaning behind the song. So that's kind of yeah. what I want to do today. I want to talk about that. So Great. tell me first, you know, kind of how it came about and what inspired, you know, up and up. Yeah. Um, kind of a funny story. Um, you know, it, it, it's actually pretty rare that um, like from the time a song is conceived to the time it hits radio is like a short amount of time for me. It's normally there's quite a, a bit of time in between those two things. And um, but I wrote this song just a few months ago um, earlier this year um, I remember walking into the studio and I've always loved the title up and up. Um, I love what it symbolizes, which I'll get into in just a minute. Um, but I walked in the studio with the song title. Um, I've always loved Jeremiah 29, 11, which says, um, for I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord plans to prosper you, not to harm you plans to give you hope in a future. So that's the meat, right? Um, trying to figure out what God's plan is for our life. I feel like it's been, um, uh, a source of contention amongst a lot of people. Um, so I'm like, all right, let's see what God's word has to say about this. So um, I came in with the verse, with the title and the musical inspiration. I've also always loved Annie the musical and I've loved mm. Hard Knock Life. Um, specifically that song is just like always so fun to me. It always brings a smile to my face. And I also think it's like low key, it's a bop, you know? So mm -hmm. um, I walked in, I'm like, hey, what if we wrote a song that kind of felt and sounded like this, but was about this? And we came up with Up and Up. So that was kind of the initial inspiration behind Up and Up, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it, um, you know, and from like, as you were talking about, you know, the plans that we have and the things like that, you know, yeah. what, what kind of like, what are some experiences that you, that kind of went into you writing this? I mean, we all kind of go through that and that's, you know, that's. I mean, I just remember <laughs> growing up and you're just like, oh my goodness, what am I going to do? And you're, sure. that's, that seems like a, a constant prayer, right? That we're looking yep. at, like asking God, what are the plans? What, what am I supposed to do? What are some of the things, and I, you've been through a lot and you've shared a lot of those stories, stories that you've had, you know, um, your journey through idol and, yeah. and things like that and things that you've done uh happen within your marriage and and stuff like that so what are some of the experiences that kind of went in and inspired a little bit of you know the up and up you know talk and the plans the jeremiah twenty nine eleven. yeah sure so um I will preface what I'm about to say with this. Um, the way I was raised, um, raised in church, I'm so thankful for that and to have solid parents and solid family. But um, the uh, the type of church I was raised in um, didn't really get a hold um, of this idea that um, God's plan was to prosper us. Like, mm. right. It, it was like they I would say they would fall into category like man, in order to be a Christian, you got to be like poor. And it's like poverty mindset versus mm. prosperity mindset. And um, I find that really interesting. Like, I, of course, think that no matter what it is, you can fall on a ditch on either side of what God says is true. Um, but I don't know. It's pretty clear in God's word what he wants to do and what his plan is for us. Right. So right. Um, and to me, that communicates a glory to glory up and up best case scenario. Um, there have been times in my life where, um, like American Idol, like um, whatever, even in, in amongst those, um, those seasons that I'm walking through, where I'm presented with some options, right? Like, there's like, hey, that seems, that's just pretty good. Like, let's do that. Yeah. But sometimes we settle for pretty good when we could have had God's best, mm -hmm. right? Like, God mm -hmm. has a plan for you that exceeds anything you could ever imagine right and he wants to get he wants to get the best to you like that's right. the kind of god that we serve like if you don't think that the god who sent his only son to die on a cross for you and me so that we could spend eternity with him wants to get us 
some goodies along the way, you're out of your mind. You're crazy. Um, that's the kind of God that I serve. So, um, yeah, there have been several times in my life where I have settled um, for something that seemed good in the moment and realized later that, oh, man, I chose this before I before I talked it over with the man upstairs. Mm. I, mm. I and and uh, and again, like. It, in the natural, like it was it was fine, like, you know, but I feel like I missed out on some opportunities. So, yeah, um, I, I think. I think this song for me really comes from that place of like, man, like one, I believe God has a best case scenario for you and me. Um, but it is our responsibility as his kids to ask yeah. him what it is. You know, I've yeah. got two daughters of my own who are about to turn four. It's crazy. They're twins. Um, and, uh, you know, like I, I know what I want for them, which is, you know, everything that I can and can't give them, you know what I mean? Yes, like I yes. want the very best for them. Um, but sometimes they have to like, they have to take me up on it. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll say, um, we'll be talking and, and even just yesterday, um, one of my daughters was like, she's wearing, um, the Elsa costume from frozen. Mm -hmm. And, uh, she's like, yeah, but I, I'm pretty sure she wears gloves. Um, and I'm like, I'm like, oh, okay. I was like, do did it come with gloves? She's like, no, I don't think it came with gloves. And I'm like, well, maybe we should get you some. And I'm like, remind me when I see you next, you know, and we'll order you some gloves. So, so it's there, it's available. Yes. Right. Yes. Um, yes. So it's the same with us and God. He, he gave us so many promises in the scripture. It's now our responsibility to be mm. like, Hey God, like, I want to be a part of that. Like, right. You said this was available. I would love to be a part of that. And, and uh, it says his mercies are new every morning. I need that mercy every morning, but it, it's also like an ongoing dialogue um, to where every day we should be checking in and be like, God, what is your plan for me today? Yes. I want to step into that and I want to experience that, is, that. That is good. That is so good. And great illustration there. What? Okay. Let me jump. This, this is kind of, yeah. this goes along with this. And I think you, there's so much hope in the song and encouragement mm -hmm. because we're trusting in God to give us you know, those plans. And he knows those plans. We may not know them right away. Right. But sure. it's that trust factor, which is so hard um, yeah. in anyone's life and not just Christians, like anyone's life to be able to put that trust in there. So it seems like no matter where we turn today, especially if you click on the news, I mean, geez, you turn on the yeah. Olympics, there's something there, right? There's controversy. Yeah. It seems like there's, there's a lot of what we would call hopeless. So what would you, what would your, be your encouragement today? If you could tell somebody, you know, um, that, that just feels as though there's no hope, you know, they're struggling with that, which I think a lot of people today do. I mean, we have a, the, the mental health crisis, the depression crisis, it, it's a huge thing. What would be your encouragement to those people today? Yeah. Um, to be honest, it's kind of a harsh truth. Um, so buckle up, but stop relying on people, human beings, um, mm. to fulfill something that only God can fulfill. Wow. Um, yeah. it, whether it be the Olympics or a presidential candidate or whatever, let's not get into politics, please. Yeah. <laughs> um, yes, please. <laughs> but whoever it is, um, they're people and they're going to let you down. They're human. It's what we do best, right? That's why we needed mm -hmm. a savior. So, mm -hmm. um, again, instead of tuning into the noise, let's tune into what God has to say, you know, let's go to his word. Let's have that ongoing relationship. Let's check in every day. Um, I'm not saying it's always easy. Um, you know, it's funny. I, I realize after writing songs for 12 years that I find myself in this position as, and I hear it from so many other people. It's like, they're in the waiting season. Mm. They're in the season where they haven't seen the miracle happen yet. And they're still having to choose to believe, um, you know, my song build a boat is a very similar thing. It's like, all right, cool. I'm here in, in the desert wandering and God promised rain. So I'm going right. to build this boat out of faith. Um, it's, it's the same thing, even with trusting God with your future. Um, again, like just go to the promises. Mm. Um, they're, they're scattered all throughout God's word. And it is amazing once you start to get a hold of them. I even like, whenever I come across a promise, I insert my name. I insert my family, my family's by name. And I'm like, all right, God promised this to us. So let's stand on this and make it a part of our everyday routine. So 
um, yeah, uh, it's like a, it's like if you had a radio dial, right? Like there's a lot of noise out there, um, mm -hmm. but you got to find the right frequency, you know, and, and stick on that. It's good. All right. Let's close with this. What can we expect? What's coming up for Colton Dixon? What can, you know, what's new? And then, and we got what a few more months in this year. What can we, what can we expect from Colton? Man, I, I am so excited about what's coming. Um, so excited about what's coming. I don't know if I'm technically allowed to even talk about it yet, but we're going to do it. This I haven't talked about it yet, um, but I'm pretty sure we've, we've been given the green light that it's coming out. So um, my favorite song I've ever written is going to be released some point this year. Um, and uh, man, I, it was, it was just a gift. I was eating lunch before a, a session out in California um, had a, a coffee with um, a friend of mine, Alexander Pappas, who used to be in uh, Hillsong Young and Free, amazing friend of mine. Um, and we were just talking about the church and and people and and how um, I mean, people are human. Right? We just talked about this, right? Um, I'm going to let you down at some point. I'm no different than anyone else. Um, and so the song is called "In Spite of Me," and it's kind of my response to church hurt. Um, it's a very uh, trendy topic nowadays, mm -hmm. along yes. with deconstruction and, and you yes. name it. And it's like, man, I get it. I've fallen short. We all have. I'm no exception to Romans 3.23. You know what I'm saying? But yep. um, but I hope in spite of everything that's ever been done to you by a human being, mm -hmm. I hope you still find Jesus in spite of me, right? Mm -hmm. Because that's the answer. Um, I'm so excited for people to hear this. Um, I believe that it's going to bring people who maybe left the church, maybe make help them rethink some things. Yeah. Um, I, I just think it's going to be a bridge and I'm really, really excited for it. Um, apart from music, um, we've got a tour coming up with Austin French and Jeremy Rosado, nice. two friends nice. of mine. And um, can't wait for that. That starts here in a month and a half or so. Um, so we're gearing up for that. And, and um, it's going to be so much fun, man. Like, God's been really good. He's really blessed um, this music thing um, that he's even, he put this desire in my heart when I was like 13 years old. So it's really cool mm -hmm. to still get to do this and uh, really am honored. So um, if you guys want to come have a good night with us, check the tour dates on my yes. website, um, coltonnixon.com. We would love to have you. That is awesome. Grat, thank you so much, Colton. It's always an honor. Um, go and check out, make sure you listen, make sure you download, make sure you get, uh, by up and up uh, request yeah. it if it's not being played you know at your local radio station request it and That's honestly right. not just christian <laughs> radio stations all radio stations because like i said it's a jam so oh, request thanks, up man. and up. thank you again colton thank you so much it's always a pleasure thank you so much man appreciate it yeah. if i get down you pick me up